from getting a $15,000 fine doing this. Uh, I'm not surprised they be trying to find me anyways. It's Bo's fault. Uh, to getting a $30,000 fine saying two words. Yeah, you're standing by it. So if I say it again, I have to pay another 15K? Hey, yeah, you wanna up it to 30,000? it. Let's look at some of the most outrageous, ridiculous, and surprising fines NBA players have received. This is a comical flop. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> born actor. <laughs> Come on. Two-time NBA League MVP Nikola Jokic is known for the extraordinary things he can do on the court for a big man and his humorous personality and character, which he would show post-game when describing former Chicago Bulls forward Wendell Carter Jr. in a post-game interview in 2018, saying this. I'm dead, bro. Listen to what he just said on live TV. He's longer than you. He would end up getting fined $25,000 for using derogatory and offensive language. But you would think after the first time, he would learn his lesson, right? Well, in 2020, after the Denver Nuggets had defeated the Utah Jazz, Jokic would talk about Rudy Gobert's defense and physical frame, saying this. On the defensive end, um, and Rudy's amazing. He's, he was a defensive player last year, yeah. you know, so he's a, he's amazing uh, at least first of all, and then uh, he's moving his feet well, um, he's long, so um, I'm not going to see. <laughs> so close. <laughs> <That's wonderful. laughs> well, I guess he did learn from his 25K fine two seasons ago. Andre Iguodala. Four-time NBA champion and finals MVP Andre Iguodala had a great impact in the Warriors Dynasty Championships with his head coach, Steve Kerr. But in March of 2017, he had some choice words. After the Warriors had lost to the Minnesota Timberwolves after coming back down double figures without KD and calls not going their way at the end of the game, Steve Kerr would decide to sit out Stephen Curry, Klay Thompson, and Draymond Green as they would have a game the next night against the San Antonio Spurs on the second night of a back-to-back. -back. Now, Iguodala wouldn't be aware that Steve Kerr was resting Curry, Clay, and Draymond until a reporter asked him about it in their post-game interview, and he would say this. Was, uh, was it planned that you, you guys would take tomorrow? You were coming up and take tomorrow's off the game off? Was that what you planned? We taking tomorrow? You, Steph, Dray, Oh, uh, no, no clue. Do a Now, Iguodala referring to Steve Kerr as master was viewed upon as a racially insensitive comment when he said, I do what master says. So he ended up getting fined $10,000 for those comments. But NBA reporter Chris Haynes would tweet out that he spoke to Iguodala and that he wasn't referring to Steve Kerr on the master comments and it was nothing but an inside locker room joke. Well, after that, it seemed that there was no commotion between Andre and Steve Kerr, because after the game against the Spurs, they would proceed to go on a 14 game win streak and go 15 and one in the playoffs and win the 2017 NBA championship. While well, staying on the topic of championships, Kawhi Leonard was having an incredible postseason in 2019 to help lead the Raptors to their first ever NBA finals appearance in franchise history. But in a Sports Center special of the 2019 NBA Finals preview, guest on the show Doc Rivers would compare Kawhi Leonard, saying that he was most like Michael Jordan. Take a listen. That he plays both ends of the court and he makes the, always the right read. He on is offense. the most like Jordan that we've seen. Like, there's a lot of great players. LeBron is phenomenal, yeah. KD is phenomenal. But when you, not that he is Jordan or anything like that, but he's the most like him. Big hands, uh, post game can finish, great leaper, great defender, uh, in between game, if you beat him to the spot, bump, bumps you off, yep. and then you add his three-point shooting, mm. you know, so. Uh, Doc Rivers would end up being fined $50,000 because it would violate the NBA anti-tampering rule because the Clippers were one of the teams trying to acquire Kawhi in the 2019 offseason with him being a free agent at the end of the 2019 season. And NBA commissioner Adam Silver showed no sympathy issuing out that fine as he would say that he quote, crossed a bright line. But what a coincidence that Kawhi would end up signing to the LA Clippers in the 2019 offseason. So I guess that quote unquote tampering worked out okay for the LA Clippers.
But this next player got fined for what he said prior to the 2007 NBA dunk contest. The Bulls lottery pick Tyrus Thomas out of LSU was a high-flying athletic forward who was selected for the 2006-2007 All-Star Weekend dunk contest, along with Gerald Green, Nate Robinson, and Dwight Howard. But Tyrus Thomas was not worried about if he won the dunk contest or lost it, but it would just be some quote, free money, in which he would state that prior to the dunk contest. So the NBA would fine him $10,000 as those statements would be deemed unsportsmanlike and not competitive. Now his dunks in the dunk contest were not bad, they were all right, but he would struggle to make his first couple dunks in the first round and he would end up ripping the mesh off the rim in the second round. And he would end up finishing last in combined scores from both rounds that dunk contest and Gerald Green would win. And speaking of All-Star Weekend, this Lakers player got the biggest NBA player fine in NBA history because of vacation he wanted to take in the 2007 All-Star Weekend break. And that player was Lakers forward Vladimir Radmanovic, where he went to Utah to go on a snowboarding trip. Sounds like a great fun vacation, right? Well, on his vacation, he ended up getting injured and separated his shoulders but lied to the Lakers and said that he slipped on ice and hurt himself. So he wouldn't get his contract voided for breaking his contract policies. But a couple days later, he would come forward and tell the organization the truth that he went snowboarding against the organization's will and he would receive a $500,000 fine, which would constitute 10% of his salary to pay off. J.R. Smith now, J.R. Smith has done some erratic things in his career both on and off the court, one being the infamous moment in Game 1 of the 2018 NBA Finals, and another being throwing a bowl of soup at one of his assistant coaches which would get him a one-game suspension. But this particular fine is probably one of the most disappointing, head-shaking fines in this video. Because when the Knicks played the Dallas Mavericks when J.R. Smith was still in New York and Dirk Nowitzki was at the free throw line, he would untie Sean Marion's shoelace at the free throw line and would get a $50,000 fine. And his head coach would not be happy about it, saying, quote, I've always said I don't condone things that I know you shouldn't do. No, I'm not happy about this. He was warned. He comes back and he makes the same mistake. It's not right. I just got the information. I'm going to address it when he comes in here for work. It's unacceptable. It really is. It's unprofessional. That's the only word I can use. You can't do that. You just cannot do it. At the end of the day, he's got to grow up. These things have to stop. Now, I don't blame his coach one bit for being upset at J.R. Smith for what he did because it's so out of the ordinary for a player to just do that for no reason whatsoever. But I guess it's just another J.R. Smith being J.R. Smith moment. Dennis Rodman Now Dennis Rodman is arguably one of the best rebounders of all time, which a lot of people remember him for on the court, as well as his hustle, defense, and his very unique hairstyles. But this particular play against the Minnesota Timberwolves is what would get Rodman his fine. As him and Kevin Garnett were going for a rebound after a missed free throw, Rodman would go out of bounds trying to dive for the loose ball and would slightly tweak his ankle landing on one of the camera crew's camera sitting on the baseline. Which would get Dennis upset but shortly after he was on the ground, he would kick one of the cameramen right by him and he would have to get carried off the court which Rodman could not believe. And after that incident, he would receive an 11 game suspension as well as a $25,000 fine. Do you guys think some of these fines were deserving? or some of them were just outright dumb that they got a fine? Let me know in the comment section below. Like always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow my socials for more updates, and I'll see you in the next video.